Hey guys, it's Sunday, January, I want to say 19th, 20th, something like that, I don't know. But we're headed down, I set a few beaver traps uh, yesterday morning on the river, I found another location. Um, this spot we're headed to, it's, it's shallow, uh, near the banks, and real rocky. Um, I did find a lot of sign though, um, I set in three foot holds and I know in my beaver videos there's a lot of repetition caster mount slides whatnot and if you guys would understand if you're trapping these rivers out here on the east coast you know you guys in the midwest heck your rivers are our streams um it, it, it's it's so much easier to find bank dens and um you know get in in trail sets blind sets for these beavers but where we're at it's virtually impossible to get a blind set with a cona bear in here. Um, unless again, you're on a boat, you could put in, like I said, in my first video, um, you can, you can put in uh, bottom edge sets. You could find their bank dens because our, our rivers here, the uh, one spot I trapped, I got three beavers out of there, um, a couple weeks ago and where their bank den is. I've trapped that since I was 15, 16 years old. And where their bank den is, it's like eight feet deep, nine feet deep. And I know it's there because I could see the food catch. So with that being said, I don't mean to show you guys repetition in, in my slides and in my caster mounds, but those are the only tools I can really utilize in these rivers where we're at because it's so big. Now, again, I'm not saying I can't, never find, I can't ever find the perfect situation where I can put a cona bear in. It's just I very rarely carry them when I'm trapping these rivers. If I head up north um, to our camp, that's a different story. We have beaver ponds up there. Uh, you know, I could find the runs. I could find small feeder streams coming in where they're going to a feeder pond. You know, I have more opportunities for a blind set. But I just want to let you guys know this is why I'm constantly using footholds, constantly using caster mounds. That's all I got. Um, it's all I really have to work with in these locations. Again, if I was 12 foot tall and I could get in that water, you know, chest deep, I could do a heck of a lot more. But unfortunately, I can't, and uh, I really don't want to die over a beaver. So, hey, stay tuned. We're going to get down in this water. Uh, I set these traps last night. I am going to pull them today, I believe. Um, I have a certification class coming up for work, unfortunately. So, we'll see how we did here, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can connect, show you guys some catches, um, and I'll show you the locations and why I set there. Stay tuned. Hey guys, how we doing? We're down here at the river, as you can see. You can see how big this river is. Um, in one of my videos, I mentioned to you guys about setting these islands, and if you could see, I don't know if you could really see it. I'm on one of these islands that I can get to um, on foot with my hip boots. So what I did was I made a cast around. I don't know if you can see it right, right here. Water came way up, like I said, and I'm just not sure why. I had two sets up the bank here, and my cast mounds are damn near under the water. Um, and there's another island over here where that darn, it was completely exposed. I could see chew sticks from this side of the river on the island over here. So, but regardless, um, we did connect. We got a beaver. Let me flip this around and I'll show you. You can see the white sack. That's my uh, my weight. And then right here, here's my caster mound. Um, and this water was nowhere near this depth. I don't know how big that beaver is. We're going to find out. But you can see we have some, some of these little islands. And that little one, the furthest one down there, you can see there were actually tracks on that. Um, you know, where he was coming up and resting. And then you could see all these little islands. But that island, right there, I could see a ton of chew sticks on that. Um, I wish I could have got to that one, but no big deal. So let me set this camera up, guys. We'll pull this beaver out, see how big it is. 
All right, guys. Let me get this guy out of here. That's ah, a small kit. Yeah, he's not that bad. Not big. So, with that being said, we got a family of beavers around here. So, I'm going to pull these traps out now. Actually, I'm going to pull these traps out now and um, I'll get back down here. I hate catching these little guys, but like I said, this water was so darn shallow. It was only knee depth yesterday. And there was no way I could have drowned a beaver, the big beaver, on a hind foot catch. I had to go with a front foot catch to get them drowned. So, what I'll do is. Uh, pull these out today. I know this spot's here. Um, I'll be able to get in here and, and get the bigger ones here once once this water calms down. But you can see, I always set up for a uh, front foot or a left side catch rather, and with the water um, flowing this way, our stream or our rivers flowing this way I always put my trap on the downstream side nine times out of ten that beaver is gonna come up he has control coming up with uh, fighting the current if he's coming down he has he doesn't have nearly the amount of control so with him coming up I always favor my trap to the left hand side um, is it necessary I really don't know but that's just what I've always done um, could you get him on the right side I'm sure you could get him on the right side just as much as you can get him on the left so, yeah, he's a little guy, uh, unfortunately. Well, we'll find his, find his uh, ancestors and hopefully get them. Let's slide that trap up. But if you didn't see any of my other beaver movies, all that I do, take a feed sack, this guy's full of rocks. Fill it up with rocks, 11 gauge wire, tie my 11 gauge wire, throw it out in the deep water. You have a drowner lock, it could slide down the wire, can't come back up. It gets them every time. So, with that being said, guys, that's my beaver setup. I'd show you the caster mount, but unfortunately the water came up over. Our water level was, this was uh, completely exposed. That water was nowhere near here, so. Hello, everyone. We're headed back down to the river um, where I got that beaver last week. I had that class this week. I apologize, I'm driving. I had that class uh, this week here, um, so I wasn't really able to set check traps. I was checking my land sets. No time to really update them. Uh, we do have a canine messing with us. I posted a small video about it. Um, I haven't gotten them yet. It's been really, really windy at night. Um, I haven't been seeing tracks in the snow. Actually, our snow just melted today. Um, so hopefully we can get him get him to come out and come back and visit. Uh, he's pooping by our sets. So he's interested. There's something making him leery of, of going in there. Um, I don't know if someone's pinched him before in a dirt hole or whatnot. But regardless, um, I'm headed back to the uh, river. Uh, we're going to stop by this first spot. Um where we caught the beaver in the last last part of the movie um i had to pull all those traps out due to this class um unfortunately i did forget my tripod um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a caster mound on that same island being that we you know we connected there we did good um i'll make a caster mound and i'll show you guys the finished product of the caster mound when i'm done um just to show you what we got i'm gonna see i brought some snares along too since we have shallower water here um i'm gonna try and get a couple snares in here that way um you know i can connect with some more of these beavers uh not worry about them twisting out you know not being able to get a, a hind foot catch uh in this shallow water so stay tuned guys all right everyone so we're back this is that island where uh where we got that one in the last last section of the movie um where I pulled it out. That was actually last Saturday. Um, but just to give you guys an idea, when I said this river came way up, this right here is that clump of grass I held. So you could see the difference from the beginning part of the video till now. I mean, it's way down, it's a foot down from where it was. So 
right here we got our foothold in and again we're only about three feet deep out there you can see the white sack um, I have a foothold set up right here set up for a front left foot catch it's on the downstream side well the downriver side uh, and here's our caster mount so let me get up here out of the sun as you can see it's a dump bank out just dug it out make it look like something's been coming up and down here non-stop you know just wore it out wash the, wash the sand away the dirt away took a mud paddle uh, a mud pie just right here and this right here is my caster and now i mean that's as simple as a, as a caster mount set i mean a lot of guys from what i'm seeing on these uh these facebook pages and all that they're overthinking this you know they got fencing i've seen fencing straight up straight over you don't need that fencing that channel right there that slide that's going to get him in there I mean, you don't need to put sticks non-stop you can see i do have this one stick right there and what i do with that stick is that's just to keep any debris that's floating down the river try to keep it out of my set you can see right there that was from me digging it out those roots and those leaves on top so i'm just going to get that all out of there and i shouldn't have anything in this set come morning unless that stick gets pushed out of the way if we catch a beaver so that's it guys i mean this is as simple as beaver trapping on a river so hopefully we come back tomorrow and got us a catch all right here we are at a spot where i set up a snare real shallow i mean it is really really shallow here and you can see i have a snare just under the water this water here it's it's shallow so he's going to be walking in in pennsylvania i have to have this snare in the water course partially submerged so you can see what we have here on the river i mean it's really really uh strong uh currents there were some tracks believe it or not over here um i don't know if he's gonna come back but i saw the tracks i saw the signs so that's why i'm setting it again just set up a caster mound right there i made that run i dug that out now if you could see i just pre-made those uh galvanized cables and i just tie my snare up there now that tree if you notice it's dead if you tie it to a green tree you want to keep it as low as you possibly can because obviously if you get a green tree, well, that beaver, if he gets hungry, he's going to eat it, chew it down, and there he goes with your snare. Um, but you can see, so if I get this guy, I got three swivel points on here. The swivel that comes with the snare. And I have that lap link with two swivels on it. And that's how I connect here. I just have those made up. I have this one on there extra. Um, just in case I get into an area where I could put a double stake swivel on it and stake it. Um, but right here, we don't need that. So you can see just the general caster mount. My loop, about seven, eight inches or so, uh, just below the water. Now, if this water was deeper, I'd actually have that snare submerged about halfway. Because when the beaver's swimming, his head is just above water. You know, you'll get him right by the neck. But since he'll be walking here, you know, I want to make it legal, leave it in the water, you know, partially submerged. And now when he goes to walk up on here, that snare loop will close down and we got him. So again, this isn't a really promising set. I just happened to see some tracks here. I mean, you never know. He might come up here. I know beavers like to mark their territory where feeder streams come in. Um, kind of like another intersection to let anybody else coming down the Hey, this is my territory. So that's a general setup of a snare for me. I do have another location um, where I'm gonna set up a snare today. Uh, it was a lot more promising, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we're down at the river checking beaver traps. I got three snares in and, uh, or two snares, excuse me, and two traps. Um, I don't think we're gonna do too good today. Got ice, it got down to like 10 degrees last night. So here's our first snare. Empty. But as you can see, that ice. So unless these beavers came out early, you know, beat this ice, we're not gonna have any success. The island we set that foothold on. Um I didn't walk down there yet, but I could see it's completely encased in ice. So what I'm gonna do is pull these out today. We're supposed to get some rain um tomorrow and Tuesday. Um, and I, depending on how much rain we get, I might not even be able to get to these. So I don't even want to chance it, you know, catching a beaver in here, not being able to get to them. So I'm pull these out, but we'll go see what we have down with the next one. 
Here's the trap we set on the island, as you can see. We got a good eight foot ice out there. I could see the jaw of the trap. It's still under the ice, so. Well, we'll want to pull this guy out, like I said, just because of this rain. Um, look at that guy. I was here at four o'clock yesterday evening. And look how much ice is already flowing. But I'm gonna pull these traps out of here. We'll head to our next spot. I got uh, a couple more in and see if we have anything. You know, people tell me I'm crazy. I got two guys kayaking me, checking beaver traps. And they're kayaking in a freaking icy river. Well, this is our I'm second location. As you can see, a lot of ice here. And right there was our set, completely iced in. I don't know if you could see the snare hanging, but obviously, like I thought, skunked. Not a big deal. Can't catch them all the time. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can make out that white stick. That's actually a beaver, beaver chew stick over there. There was a whole pile of them uh, last week when I was here, but I had to go to that class, like I said, so I couldn't unfortunately set this location. Plus it was too shallow. I didn't have any snares with me. So, well, I'll give it a couple weeks. Everything might thaw out, get back down here um, and see if we can't get them. So that's it. All right, guys. Well, I know this trek wasn't very fun, but we at least connected with one beaver uh, last week um, with this ice moving in. You know, as I stated earlier here, I'm going to pull these and especially with the rain coming in because this ice is going to melt once this rain comes and this river is just going to be ripping. And I don't want to get caught down here. I don't want to have anything in here. It's not worth dying over catching a beaver. Um, but with that being said, hey, enjoy your week. Um, I know over here in Pennsylvania, we only have um what about another two weeks three weeks for uh, fox and coyote trapping um get out there hit it take care guys i'll get you on the next video